Howdy y'all. What? Today I'm going to be talking about something that not a lot of people choose to talk about. And if you can see by the title, it's kind of obvious. I went to see Fifty Shades of Grey in the movie theaters. So I decided to review it because I know a lot of people who are on the edge of seeing it and there's a lot of people who are just like, no, I don't want to see it and there's a bunch of people who are like, yes, I need to see it and I was a person who needs to see it because I read the book and it was good. And to be completely honest, it was not that bad. A lot of people are just like, oh my god, it's such a porno, all they have is sex and they beat each other and stuff like that. It's, it's not like that. Yes, they have sex, but not as much as you would think. And as it comes to the, like, s &M, it wasn't as intense as I thought it would be. It was just like, I think she got hit in the ass a few times, in the stomach a few times with something, and then the stupid gray tie thing. Oh, wait one second. I kind of feel like I fit the part a little bit better. I am Christian Gray. I did not put this on right. But other than the whole bondage with the tie and the whole um, having sex like every once in a while, it wasn't like scary and it wasn't like upsetting like I thought it would be. And a lot of people are freaking out because there's so much sex involved. Like I read somewhere online or somebody told me that they read somewhere online, I think it was my sister, that like out of the whole like two hour, or not two hours, but the whole hour and a half of the movie or whatever, however long the movie is, there's only like 20 minutes worth of like sex, but there is like, I'm guessing there's probably like 30 minutes worth of boobs and pubes. That's, I know Fifty Shades of Grey was a fan fiction of Twilight. So I know, I can see the resemblance there, but at the same time, it's still just a fan fiction. And you guys read other fan fictions. If you're an internet kid, you've read other fan fictions that are probably way worse than Fifty Shades of Grey. But people, just because this one's like, out there, they make it a lot worse than what it actually is. But yeah, this is just my opinion. I'm not stating or anything. It's just the fact of like, this is my opinion on it. On the movie, other than the fact of like the whole sex thing, it was actually really good. A lot of people were just like, no, it wasn't very good. It was like really crappily put together. The dialogue was bad. The concept was bad. It was really good. Like the whole thing is about a girl who has to go and take, uh, go to an interview for her roommate because her roommate's sick and she can't do it. So she goes for her and like how like they like fall in this weird love thing and he doesn't fall in love with people and stuff like that like it's a really good concept but people always like overshadow it for the fact that there's a lot of sex in it. If you want to know if the movie is meant for you if you don't mind seeing people have sex like you don't actually like well you kind of see it from like above but you don't actually like see it like you don't see this you just see this. I don't know if that helps your imagination, but that's what you see. Um, there's a lot of boobs, and then you see her like two or three times. Other than that, you see his butt a lot, and her butt a lot. I don't know. I just say like, if you're over the age of 18, go and watch it. And it's an experience, and plus you're probably gonna go and see it anyways. I just say, go and watch it. What's the worst thing that's gonna happen? You're not gonna see the second one. I don't know. Once again, it was all my opinion. It's just how I felt. I watched it like three days ago, two days ago, two days ago, and it was good. But I just want to say, Josh, I love you. Um, I love you guys. Dream big, and I'll see you next time I post.